Is it weird having to like do this instead of fighting actual crime in Geelong? <laughs> it's different. You guys look bored. You look bored. I said you look bored. Yeah. Nothing happening. Nah. I think. Did you walk up here or? From where? From the corner? Yeah. I tried to get a ride with some of your boys. They wouldn't take me. I don't know. You should have jumped in our bus, mate. We were taking you. Would, you would... <laughs> You're all right, I like him. <laughs> Not many say that though. <laughs> I, I was, yeah, well, I was expecting a bit of a different uh, thing today. Last night, some of your boys came to visit me at home. Nah, Did you hear about that? No, nah, we're from the country, we're, mate. We're down, yeah. Oh, you're from the country? Yeah. Oh, so you guys are all right, you're regional. Yeah. yeah. Where are you from? We're from Geelong. Geelong, oh, country. Yeah. It's country though, isn't it? It's country metro. <laughs> it's country metro. Uh, wow, they brought you all the way from Geelong. There's no crime happening in Geelong at the moment, no, is there? Not today, no, it's really no. quiet. We're back. <laughs> we won't promise they'd be good. Yeah, right, yeah. Geelong's got. Is it weird having to like do this instead of fighting actual crime in Geelong? It's different. Like Geelong is, let's not lie, it's uh, it's got its crime problems. Yeah. It's got its crime problems. It's up there, yeah. I'm, like, I, like statistically speaking, it's probably a lovely place. I imagine it is, but statistically. There are probably bigger problems than people coming out without masks in... Oh, we just get... oh, I feel for you. You don't make the rules, I know, but... I know, I feel for you. I know. I've seen it. I've actually seen a divide in Victoria Police, even the non-country. The country, you guys are all good. It's a city boys is a divide. Half of them are on a power trip, the other half are like, shit, I don't want to be here. So who visited you last night, sorry? Um, I got a letter from... Luke, can, uh, what's his name? I can never pronounce Saying that uh, not meant to come and do my job. <laughs> Rebel News, it's a, it's a, um, well, uh, everywhere, it's Canadian. Yeah, it's a Canadian site, so. That's a long way to come there from Canada here to report on this. You know what? The whole world is interested in what is happening in Melbourne at the moment. We've done a year and a half of some of the toughest restrictions in the world and some of the craziest enforcement. Like, it's a shame because I think it's actually, like you'd feel it, the divide between the people and the police. People, I think a year and a half ago, I was campaigning for Back the Blue. Yeah. And I can't believe today I'm standing here going, half the time, I don't know, it actually, it's like case by case basis. It's whether the blue are behaving or not. But like you said, you get orders. But it's what you do. You get you get discretion as well. You've got discretion. Do you go to the supermarket and yell at the checkout chick because of the price? I don't. No way. I do. Yeah, you do. But you're from Geelong. She's probably a criminal. Yeah, exactly. No, look, I don't do that. But that's fine. But there's a lot of people that don't do that. And I've witnessed, you know, some really over-the-top enforcement over people that don't deserve it. And that's what's created that distrust. Like the fact that they come to my house and, and they, you know, like right now I'm in the Supreme Court with over. You're, not, you're actually in the park. In the park, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, he's quick. <laughs> he's gonna take my job. <laughs> Those the other boys. Who... <laughs> really? Let's swap. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, a year and a half ago I would have gone. Yep. Yeah. It's tough for everyone. It is, but I reckon. Uh, I reckon. Yeah, hundred percent. Listen, I got I got mates from when I was kids that are in the that are cops. Yeah. But they tell me quietly. They go, listen, I use. Their families own restaurants, and then they go, they go to me. Listen, I use my discretion. I've never issued a, anything to do with COVID because, personally, I'm like that's not what I signed up for. But there are some you cannot deny. Maybe not in Geelong. Some in the city that seem to be enjoying. Yeah, you haven't been. How long have you been in in, in Melbourne? Like just, just today. You should come hang out with me. I'll show you around. Some of them are enjoying it, and that's the sad bit because I never thought I'd see that. Cornelius is definitely enjoying it. That and a couple of extra donuts. Don't laugh to that, you're in trouble. <laughs> He's laughing under the mask. See you later, guys. Stay safe and stay cool. What we've learned is there's certainly good cops and bad cops, and I've seen that on the front line throughout this lockdown. There have been some great cops that have been really nice and really cooperative, and then there have been those that are on a power trip. It seems that those from the country are certainly um, not excited about enforcing COVID restrictions and want to fight actual crime. But last night, three cops came to my house to issue me a letter directly from the commissioner. Now, you can argue that they were ordered to do that. Is that a good enough excuse? I don't know. There is a problem with command, yes. But there is also a problem within the police force where some 
seem to be enjoying the powers they've been given under the state of emergency for their own personal power trip. Avi Amini in Melbourne, Australia, for Rebel News, never, never, ever backing down from telling the other side of the story. So it turns out that tactic of coming to my house in the middle of the night was just an intimidation tactic and it failed because I wasn't scared. I came here and police didn't follow through. What we learned is though, there is two tier policing. The other journalists from the mainstream media that toe the line, well, they didn't get a visit from police. So share it. Let the world know how they react to journalists who tell the other side of the story. Then head over to standwithavi.com to help me in my fight for press freedoms. Standwithavi.com, stand with me and we'll take this fight to the top.